start. It was the pole sitter, Jeff Green, watching as the Plymouth of Roy Payne went to the front. The top four, Green, Payne, Chubby Crowell, and Sterling Marlin put on quite a show. Mickey Baltz had trouble early. There you see him putting out the, yes, fire in his car. Here you see Sterling uh, taking the lead with a, oh, uh, 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 he took the lead coming off the second corner. We'll find out what that was a little bit later. Marlin continued to lead as Payne came around him. Uh, oh, this is probably 45 laps into the race. Chubby Crowell looking for a place to go. Crowell was up front all night long, as was Payne and, and Jeff Green and a couple of others. Let's just watch the battle for a minute. It won't take long before, well, it's not going to be pretty for those who are big Sterling Marlin fans as Crowell and Payne fight for the lead. Looky here. Here goes the Oldsmobile spinning off the second turn, 43 laps in. Then the big crash of the night. Mark Smith, he needed that Tylenol when that was done. As the race wore on, it looked like it was going to come down to a battle of about three. And then these two took off and decided to play cat and mouse. Hamilton, that's Bobby Hamilton, two-time track champ on the outside of Jeff Green, looking for a place to go. Great racing right here. These two guys that ran side by side, lap after lap. It was amazing just to see and, and pass traffic this way, I might add. That was the strange part to me with, uh, without hitting too hard at any particular time. Roy Payne was holding on to the lead at this point as Chubby Crowell again tried to go to the outside. It might have been a smart move, might not have been. As you watch him come off the fourth turn, look at what's sneaking up over on the right side of your screen. That's a 33 car of one Bobby Hamilton, who's looking for a place to tuck and hide and run. And he'll do exactly that as Crowell's a little bit high off the second corner. And as they go down the back straightaway, that skull number 33 will take the advantage. Payne then loses it coming off the second turn. That put Hamilton out in front with only about 25 laps left to go. And everybody came into the pit. Watch the pit action as it came down to a matter of cruise at this point, who was going to get out quickest? Now, the one exception was Newt Moore, who had pitted right around lap 60, and he stayed out on the racetrack to lead laps. At this point, that's what he was doing. As they bring him down off the jack stands, or off the jacks, rather, with the fresh tires on the right side and the full tank of gas, you will see Hamilton, his crew, got him out first. And then, of course, here comes everybody else. Doris Vaughn, uh, Daryl Sage, uh, Jeff Green will be coming out, Chevy Crowell. 18 laps left to race, and the leader is Newt Moore in the Viacom Cable Vision, Purity Dairies, Nashville 95 FM Olds. But wait a minute, who's this? This is Bobby Hamilton, who tracked him down and went around him to take, yes, indeed, the checkered flag at the end of the show. 125. Very happy Bobby Hamilton, we might add. Glad to get a win at home, the whole family and the whole crew ready. Now that leaves the point standings looking like this. Jeff Green out in front, 243 points. He could miss at this point about five races and not have a whole lot to worry about.